Yo, what's good? So last week, Canelo said he was going to reject the Cinco de Mayo belt that the WBC had made for the Chavez Canelo fight. And now we know why. And even though we all had the feeling why, now he came up front and said it. He said that he had a underlying beef with the WBC, stemming from the fact that they made a mandatory or they made Golovkin mandatory for his belt. And he says they only give him 15 days to the side. Even though I remember him getting a couple extensions. He didn't mention that. But he got a couple extensions. How quickly we forget. But he was mad because of that. And he said it. He said. Oh man. He's basically saying. Oh this organization was trying to tell me what to do. And no one tells me what to do. I'm Canelo. No one tells me what to do. Man, how childish and diva-ish is this guy, man? No one tells me what to do. Uh, I'm never going to fight for the WBC belt again. And now he says if he's going to fight Gennady Golovkin, it's not going to be for the WBC belt. <laughs> I'm sure that's fine with Triple G, but... All right, dude. All right. You don't want, a- you don't want anything to do with this belt because they wanted you to fight... The mandatory, who had been interim champion since three years, for two years, two, three years. You, you knew, you knew it was coming. You knew they were going to want you to fight Triple G before you fight Koto. You knew Koto was supposed to fight Triple G, but he didn't. And you just came up and vacated the belt. Threw it in the trash, right? Like Riddick Bo did. Might as well have. Hey, Triple G. Aquí, aquí en México, no andamos con mamadas. Yeah, right. We don't fuck around. If you want the belt, here it is. <laughs> if you want the belt, come and get it, right? A la Riddick Bo. But now it's the truth, man. Coming from the horse's mouth. 